There is a robust line of thunderstorms along the cold front in western sections of Iowa in the early evening hours. That will pose a tornado risk and a damaging wind risk as well. And so we need to really respect this line of thunderstorms pushing across our area this evening. Welcome everyone to Backroads Angling. It is December 15th, I think, and it is 70 degrees, 72, something like that. I have a sweater on, but I don't need it. It's really kind of strange. It's like a record by about 10 degrees. Should be ice fishing right now, but instead we're doing this. Uh, I've got a little backwater off the main river over there, which you can see in the background beyond the bridge um, you can see that there, the wind the current is being blown in here from the wind I'm hoping that since this is probably a few degrees warmer that this is where the fish will be and we'll move out as we go I can have three rods so I'm gonna try and use all three rods maximize my chances here so I'm gonna go with a night crawler on the bottom as with my first rod, maybe I'll pick up a catfish, a drum, anything, whatever. All right, uh, I'm gonna put a worm, bobber and a worm out too. I'm just gonna let this bobber fly back in there in the, towards that tunnel. Seems like the kind of day where fish might wanna get back in here, take advantage of the warm weather, slightly warmer water back here. Let's let that bobber out just to see what happens. On my third rod, I'm gonna use a swim bait like I normally do. Let's see if there's any white bass or walleye or anything like that that wanna bite. Let's just see what might be lurking in here today. Oh yeah, nice swim bait action. Oh yeah, I forgot. I broke off a big chunk of line on this rod and so I barely have any line on the reel. So you know it's getting towards the end of open water season, we start running out of line. It's about all the farther I can cast. It's all the line I have. Ooh, there's a fish. Did not expect it, but I got a fish. Second cast of the swim bait. Is that a crappie? Or white bass. All right, white bass. We are on the board. <laughs> Feels good to catch a fish in the middle of December. Oh man, he's cold. There was a fish just jumped right here. There we go. Well, I didn't really expect it. A second cast in there. Wouldn't that be sweet if they were all stacked up in here? Wasn't a slow retrieve or anything. I just reeled it straight in, just like I normally would in the, the warmer months. Another one. This could be good. This is December 15th, folks. And they're fighting hard for, fighting pretty hard for as cold as the water is too. That's not a bad one. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Man, they're ice cold, as you might expect. Yeah. I can feel myself hitting bottom all the way through. So it's not very deep. Oop, that was not a fish, I don't think. It's hard to tell. I don't know, I could, oh, that was a fish. <laughs> I lost my tail. Okay, so they're in there. The white bass are in there. I'm excited. And the fifth, there's fish jumping right here. This could be really good. Could it be that a lot of the things that I'm feeling bumping me along the way are, are fish and not bottom? It couldn't be, could it? I mean, I'm getting, I'm feeling things constantly, but I'm, I was just assuming it's the bottom, but could it be fish? Yes, it is. That's a fish. Yeah. There's this thing, this, this whole ditch is loaded with fish. They're jumping. This is December right now. It's 
is December. And the fish are all up in here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. There's another one. Gosh dang, I'm about to get poached. Somebody else is coming. Another one. <clears throat> might be loaded to the brim here folks there he is funny how that bobber is not getting touched oh my gosh look at this look at all these cockleburs I just got on my jacket are you kidding me oh crap oh no look at all these cockleburs that is insane. Oh man, they're everywhere I look. Ah, that is horrible. Fish a little further up here towards the actual river. The river is almost flowing backwards. The wind is so strong. I see white caps going the wrong direction. There's a fish. Little guy. What is this? Oh, walleye. Sweet. If I had minnows, I could probably get a lot of these guys. Oh, let go. He's got clamped down on my swim bait. Little walleye. We'll take it. Wait. He's not a sauger, is he? I think he's a walleye. Thought it for a second he might have been a saw guy, but probably a walleye. He might be getting used to me here. There's one. Wondering what, what happened to them. I'm in my other line here. Anytime you're catching them fish open water in December, it's a good day in my book. There he is. I'm gonna try a gold minnow. I think there's a lot more fish in here than I realize. I think we just need to keep switching our lures back and forth. This is a, what size are these? Two and a half inch maybe? Two and a half inch gold minnow? We'll come back to the swim bait. There's one. It's a white bass. It is a white bass, a little one. I think there's a lot of these in there right now. This might be a little wiper, let's see. It's really long. See how long he is? Nope, it's a white bass. Little guy, we'll take him. Take him any size today. It's funny, they seem to be back kind of in the middle part of the ditch. I wasn't getting them over by the tunnel. I'm not getting them out as I get closer to the main river. It's like they're definitely kind of in the middle of the ditch. The wind is getting more and more intense, but I'm kind of down here in this bowl, so I'm not getting the brunt of it. There's one. Got him on the light tackle now, it's a little more fun. Another white bass. Getting into the smaller ones now. There's one. <laughs> Now we're getting into the little guys. This must be the nursery for during the winter for these little guys. That looks like a wipey. Yeah, that's a, that's a tiny, tiny wiper. Probably the tiniest one I've ever seen. Another one. That's something. It's really little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another little teeny one. It's another little wiper. Look at how little that guy is. That's cool. See the broken lines? He's got two patches on his tongue. Hopefully it'll be a 10 pounder one day. 
Got a 1 16th ounce jig head so I can fish this a lot slower. Just pop it as I go. There's one. Maybe a little bigger. A lot of fun on this lighter rod. I should have used this earlier. Small little wiper. See fish jumping, it's probably those little wipers eating stuff off the surface. Oh, there was one. There's so many fish in here right now. There's one. Oh boy. That is a shad. Looks like that shad tried to eat it. Hmm. All right. Let's head out towards the the main river here, and I'll, I'm going to cast this out. Cut this guy up. Get myself really stinky. So I've talked a little bit about the weather, but we're in a high wind warning right now. The wind is blowing 25 to 35 miles per hour. There's, oop, there's a fish. Can't really tell how bad it really is uh, because I'm down in a bowl, but a bunch of trees probably going to come down overnight because it's supposed to get gusts up to 60 or 70 miles per hour tonight. So, weird weather, but maybe that's what's turning the fishing on. Oop, here comes a muskrat or a beaver. Looks like a muskrat. There's one. Little guy, I think. Oh, now he's picking up a little bit of steam. It's fun on the ultralight. We're catching the next generation of wipers is what we're catching on some of these. Yeah, that's a little wiper. Next generation. Thought we might get a big one back here. There's another bite. Thought we might get a big one. But it seems like it's just chock full of these little guys. Now we're starting to get them on the gold minnow. These little guys love the gold minnow. This guy choked it down. Look at how he got that. Way down in him. I really got this, I really got this minnow dancing around. I don't know if you can see that, but look at it, look at it dance. I and mean, that's pretty deadly. Look at that. 16 pounds jig head, so it's almost just the weight of the minnow. Another one. Getting them every cast now. That little kind of jerkbait like retrieve is getting them. Where is your daddy? Or your mama? Most of these are little wipers, little teeny tinies. Huh, it's just constant. There's, there, I got it. Oh, it's a shad. I got him. Man, these shad are hitting it. Look at that. It's the second one I've caught around the mouth. I'm pretty sure they're, they're going for it. Pretty sure they're trying to eat it. Kind of weird. All right, everybody, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching Backwards Angling. I gotta head out. The weather is getting weird. It's clouding over. I think we're about to have a big thunderstorm, or I think there's even a chance of a tornado, but 25 to 35 mile per hour winds. It's supposed to be up to about 60 miles per hour tonight, but so I gotta go batten down the hatches. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. A lot, it's very rare you get the chance to get out the long poles in the middle of December. And uh, it pretty much never happens that you get to do it when it's 72 degrees out. I've got a fleece on, but I definitely didn't need it. Could have gotten away with the t-shirt for sure. It feels like mid-May, but uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, cool backdrop, an urban ditch here. that's just full of white bass right now. Caught a walleye also. It's gonna be a memorable fishing trip for me to, to be able to catch uh, fish like this in the middle of December when I should be ice fishing. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.